Dear learners, in this video, you will learn about how to measure blood group practically. So, to measure blood group, we require the antiserums like anti A, anti B, and anti D, and control samples means only the blood. So, anti D means here it will define the blood group is positive or negative. So, if there is a agglutination on this anti D, it means it is a positive. Now, O positive blood group means there is no any agglutination on anti A and anti B. There is only agglutination on anti D. So, we can say that the blood group is positive. Now, for O negative, there is no any agglutination because it's a negative. Now, if the blood group is O positive, then there is a two slide which are agglutinated. First is anti A means if the blood group is A positive, therefore the agglutination we will find on two slides, it's a A and anti O. If it is negative, then there is a no agglutination on anti D. For the same we can find for B positive, B negative. For A B positive, we will find all slides agglutination. A B negative, there is two slide and if we will get agglutination on all the samples, then our then our blood group we can say it's invalid. Now we will see how to measure it practically. To measure blood group we require antiserum A, antiserum B and antiserum D. Now first of all we have to mark these slides. There are generally four slides which we have already marked as a A, B, D and control sample. Now first we are taking antiserum A. We are placing the drop of antiserum A on the slide which is already marked as an A. After that we will take the antiserum B. It's of a yellow color and that we will mark on the B slide. After that we will take antiserum D. And this our control slide on control slide we will not take anything after that we have to prick our finger so we'll take ethanol a 70% ethanol and cotton we will clean our finger and let it air dry after that, we will prick the finger. After pricking, allow the drop of blood come out from the finger. Now we will put it on this slide on a A slide which having antiserum A. Yes. After that, again allow the blood come out from the finger and place it on the slide B, which having antiserum B. After that, again the same exercise we are doing and placing the blood drop on antiserum D.
control sample directly place the drop of blood now we will take one another slide to mix it thoroughly every time either we have to use the clean slides or the different slide or we can use toothpick also to mix the blood with the serum so here we are washing this slide On control sample we will not do anything because there is only the blur that, that is our control sample. Now we will mix the D that will find positive or negative blur group. The RH factor we can say. So after one minute, after one to two minutes, we can find this is the slide. There is no agglutination on any slide like A and B. There is no agglutination till. Now we can see the, now we can see the agglutination on anti-serum O. In anti-serum O, there is a slide O. See this is the agglutination. So we can see the blood group is O positive. So here we are getting this type of result. There is only agglutination on NTD means the blood group is O positive. Thank you dear learners for watching the video.